Now it's a little cooler out there today compared to what we had earlier this week. No question. Thanks to that frontal boundary, that cooler air will be settling on in now over the next few days. And if you look to the south and west, a big blob of rain moving in, and that will be impacting us by early tomorrow morning. But the view north of town and I-75 today showing another day with dry roads. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, a little cooler out there this evening. As you notice, we stay into the uh, low and mid 50s. And then sometime after midnight tonight, we may see a few showers develop. Uh, readings early tomorrow morning will be down into the 40s versus uh, what we had this morning, which was uh, quite a bit warmer. So the showers will develop overnight tonight. Soggier start heading into our Friday and then the weekend looking cooler and drier. We will have sunshine both Saturday into Sunday, but that frontal boundary again is to our south. We're going to have some rain kind of spreading into the Commonwealth and lingering into Friday. Notice that tomorrow's high is only at 54 mid 50s still on Saturday into Sunday, but that sunshine will return with those northern the winds. Now, after a little bit of a cool stint over the next few days, temperatures look to return to above average levels mid month from the 17th to the 23rd, and we may see an uptick in that precipitation potential as well. So again, most of the heavier rain is going to be to the south and west. You can see uh, into Tennessee, uh, maybe a couple to a few tenths of an inch of rain, but through uh, what we see tomorrow, there could be about a tenth to maybe two tenths of an inch of rain total. That'll be about it. So tonight, clouds thickening up sometime after midnight. We will see a few light rain showers develop and a little bit soggy as we start off our Friday. It won't be an all day, all day rain as we head into the afternoon. Things look to uh, dry out a little more. So waking up to the 40s tomorrow morning, those uh, winds will be turning a little bit more out of the south uh, around 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then into the afternoon, we start to dry out. Temperatures again will be a little cooler into the 50s on Friday and holding steady into the 50s through early next week with some sun.